Good morning, I'm Renislava. And I'm Alessia. We're in Istanbul, Turkey. And today we are going in the Blue Mosque, Hagia Sophia, Suleiman Mosque and the Egyptian Bazaar. Let's go. Wow, it's big. Small coffees are very good. Probably they look after her inside the shop. They are doing some work here. Here they are washing the feet. Yes. And the hand. And the hand. And I think it's split. One side is for the men and the other side is for the women. This is Theodosius Obelisk. It's of course from the Egyptian area. I've always wanted to enter the mosque. This is it the... was very interesting for me, it's very interesting. So the Blue Mosque, the actual name of the Blue Mosque is the Sultan Hamid Mosque because it was built from Sultan Ahmed the first in 1616 around it was built and yes it's exactly facing Hagia Sophia and the name blue mosque comes from the decoration which are mostly blue that's why it's amazing and it's from of course from the Ottoman era So do people actually pray here? Yes, uh, it's written that visitors are not allowed in this area because it's for uh, praying. It's just for Muslims? Yes.
so the blue mosque doesn't have entrance fee but from now I guess here has a fee of yes. 25 euros from January 2024 yes. but actually we have been we, we were lucky because previous year the blue mosque was under construction and you weren't able to enter so it's okay yes. So, as everyone knows, Hagia Sophia in the beginning was built as a uh, Byzantine church by Justinian I, the emperor, and then around 530. And then, after the fall of Constantinople, it was taken by the, the Ottoman Empire and it was converted into a uh, mosque. And then it became a museum, and in some uh, like recent years, it uh, was trans transformed again into a mosque. very interesting how from the outside you can see that it's a church. It has the shape of an old Byzantine style church, but then there is a minaret and it's interesting the fusion of the, of the religions. It's very interesting. So this is the line for the tickets. It's only 9.42. The mosque is open from... 9. So we got the tickets. Uh, the tickets are only for the for the mosque, and they cost 25 euros. If you want extra at the ticket office, they're very uh, careful to remind you that uh, if you want, you can also have the entrance for the for the museum, where all the old things, all the remains from the church, are kept. But actually the interesting thing is the mosque and we decided to only go in the mosque.
I don't know if you can see, but there there is uh, Mary. This building was used as a Greek Orthodox cathedral. Yes. In 1453. Yeah. Then the Ottomans, the Muslims, they conquered in something like this. With uh, images when it was a church, it was full with images from Jesus. But then with the icono, when they removed the images, that's why it's so empty. It looks a bit empty now. From the Byzantine era, from the beginning, because this one. Byzantinian, yes, they were very famous for the It's really interesting. Byzantines were famous for, for this golden, from this gold mosaic, as you can see. This one? Yes. So this is the marble door which separates the emperor's uh, private room from the side where he was meeting with the synod, which was the old uh, reunion of, uh, how to say, officials of the Roman Empire from the 6th century. There is the Emperor John the Second. In the middle, on the left, there is Mary, and on the right, there is John. Yes. Hello. Hello, welcome. Can we take one with chocolate and one with uh, cheese? cheese? Thank you. that the price is not very good so, so we'll try to find somewhere else but it's big though but probably it's because it's here next to Agia Sofia yes okay we found we found another place but half of the price 120 thank, thank you. you bye so we are in Beyazid Square and we'll sit somewhere here to try this. Man, woman. No, no, thank you. Say yes. <laughs> say yes. No, I say no. <laughs> wow. This looks so heavy. Yes, it smells heavy. You're first. Me first. It's sticky. It's crunchy. It's like biscuit around. Is it very uh, sweet or no. not that much? No. You don't know if you like it. I don't know if I like it. <coughs> what do you think? It's very strange. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, it's actually like biscuit. 
It's not that sweet. It's nice. Probably this is some famous place. Super kebab. This is heavy though. These are the kind of prices that we are searching. Yes. <laughs> but there is some like uh, there is something. Some bazaar. At least there is some. Some exhibition. Yes. Gazan Child Paint of Exhibition. I got goosebumps.
so let's steam burgers here. Wet burgers actually. This is the wet burger. This is with some American salad. And we also order cheeseburger. Thank you. Now we are going to the Egyptian bazaar. Yes. So we took the bus and we went down on the Minonu and one man spilled his coffee on my shoe and it, it went. It wasn't even his coffee, there was a coffee like standing there and he just hit it and it fell. On me, yes, and it spit or uh, spilled on my uh, jeans and my body, of course. Of course, my luck. Yes, this is the port, it's so busy. And now we are going in the Egyptian market. And we have to cross somehow. Somehow. Probably there is uh, like here we have to. Oh no, this is the metro. I don't know, I think we have to follow with the crowd. From there, there is traffic light and we can cross. It's really crowded here, of course. Why no one stops? <laughs>
nada, é <laughs> we are tired to say Bulgaria and Italy, so sometimes we say Italy, sometimes say Bulgaria. we say Bulgaria. Hello. Hello. How are you?
We are not allowed to take it out of the country. Yolak Bey'in büyük tekerin kendisi büyük bir Another one, and, and it was full, and we found this one. It's quiet, it's nice. So, we took our food kebab in eggplant, this is with tomatoes, with tomatoes pepper. Yes. Food was amazing. Yes. It's unbelievably delicious. We can't stay here for a long time because I will gain so much weight. There will be needed two places to sit in the bus yes. for each of us. 